Hey, it's Tim here with Expert Power Wash, and today we got another uh, six and a half foot truck skid that we're working on or delivering today. So let's take a look at this thing. All 12 inch reels, stainless steel manifolds, uh, full frame aluminum. We have 200 feet of uh, half inch soft wash hose here with the Sutner gun and of course the stainless steel J-Rod. We have a uh, downstream bypass setup right here. So you can pull in chemicals as you're using the pressure washer hose for downstreaming. Um, over here we have 200 feet of uh, the Fierce Jet, the really good pressure washing hose, and then we have a uh, ball valve here at the bottom. Three quarter Flexilla hose, 100 feet. Uh, we have our new whip line on this hose that helps the, the bend where it goes into the reel. And then we also have a little jumper here. Um, if you want to go directly into the tank, you can hook up there. Going over, on over to the back here. This is a little bit complex for some people, but basically what it does is it takes the downstream injector. You're able to rinse it out. So this way is water, this way is chemical. And it pulls from each tank here. There's a slotted PVC at the bottom of each one of those, and then it comes down and it runs to the downstream injector. We got our 100 gallon slim tanks. These are the extra heavy duty, extra thick tanks. They have a lid on each side. And then going on over here to the business side of the skid, we'll open this up. We, we put uh, buyer's boxes on these skids because some of the other ones are really, really thin. So these are heavy duty, really stout boxes. They're not gonna fall apart. If you look in here, we got our wiring that comes in. Everything is real clean. Uh, we have the battery that's ground to the skid. Uh, this one comes with an M5 twist. This is one of our favorite nozzles to use for downstreaming. They come in a 7 to 12 and then a 3 to 7. Another crucial part that we put on our skids, this is a bleach rinse valve. So what we did is we got this set up to where if this thing is pointing to the chemical, you're pulling chemical. If it's pointing this way, it's pointing to the water, you're pulling water. So where that becomes very important, is this comes out through here in the back and then it goes into this line here. I've seen a lot of people just turn this off, turn the soap off and then turn the water on. You will get a good pump rinse out on that, but it's not gonna rinse out this system here. And you run a ton of corrosive chemicals through here. You wanna have something where you can pull water through that. So that's just gonna help make the system last a little bit longer and something a little bit extra that we do on our skids. If you look over here, we have some three quarter hose running over. Over here, you got the Pressure Pro, uh, eight gallon a minute pressure washer. Uh, this is a TSF uh, 2021, I believe, eight gallon a minute, 3,500 PSI. Belt drive. And then it's up on the forklift right now, but it's a little bit hard to see. Uh, we have the Boyd's 11 gallon heavy duty gas tank that we put on all of our skids. And then another thing we started doing, we have our plate right here. We just started keeping count on these, so this is this is uh, number number five. We've probably done about ten of these so far. But yeah, this is a six and a half foot uh, skid. This will fit in your smaller uh, F-150s or kind of the shorter shorter bed type trucks. We do minis as well. So if you guys have like a five and a half, a really short bed truck, like my Tundra that's sitting over there, and you want something little to put in that. This is something that we have in progress. This is gonna be a uh, 48 by 48 foot, or 48 by 48 inch, rather, uh, platform. This gets loaded up into the forklift. If the liquids are all drained from it, two guys could just pull this thing out. It's in progress. Uh, those will be on our website as well. But uh, going back on over to this, if you guys are looking for an aluminum truck skid, you want something that's built very nice and custom and a little time put into it, uh, we, can, we can build these for you. All right, guys, have a good day. Enjoy the summer.